Welcome back, everyone. It's Abdallah here with another exciting episode of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee for Nintendo Switch. Today's episode is all about making our way over to Erica. It's gonna be a fun one. And we've got a very special Pokeball Plus happening right over here, courtesy of our friends at Nintendo of America for uh, providing us with this awesome thing. We're actually using it right now for the very first time. It's awesome. Uh, I've played with this at E3 a long, long time ago in June. Uh, but now that we have our very own one, hey, raise your hand in the comments if you guys have a Pokeball Plus as well. So this is interesting. With the Pokeball Plus, you have uh, access to a button on top. I don't know if you can kind of see it. There's a little button that you can press on there, uh, which is the B button. And of course, you can press the, uh, the little nub over here, which is also your control stick of moving around and if you press it in, that's the A button too. So it's an interesting way of playing. Uh, so, and it also doubles as a Pokeball Plus that you can use with Pokemon Go, interesting. So yeah, it's gonna be a good one on today's episode. Thanks for coming. I hope you guys uh, all enjoy the live stream series that we're doing over here. I love every single one of you guys that have been watching the videos. If you guys didn't already enter our giveaway, we're giving away, uh, yeah, we're giving away some Pokemon Let's go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's go uh, Eevee game. So go check that out. Link's in the description for that. So I'm here. You guys are here. Let's do this. So I got to stick my ring finger right in there. There's like a little ring that you put on. And there we have it done. So we're going to give this a shot. I'm very partial to playing with the detached Joy-Con because simply put, I can keep on pressing the A button whenever I want to like find hidden items on the ground. But we're going to give this a shot. See if, uh, see if there's anything cool that we can do with it. But... It's straight up a controller. It's an extra controller that you can use. You guys can see over here, I can move. And uh, we're gonna keep on moving, so let's go. Hey, Abdallah, did you know that there's something hidden behind the poster? You're kidding me, right? No one told me anything about the poster within the game. None of the NPCs mentioned anything about a poster that, uh, that has their likeness. <laughs> hey! A switch behind the poster, let's push it. What do you mean? How did we know that there was a switch behind the poster? I'm just messing with you guys. All right, you heard a loud sound echo from somewhere on this floor. Uh-oh. All right, so... Oh, dang. We're going to have to go inside there. So here we go. This Pokeball Plus is kind of cool. The Team Rocket Hideout. We're here with Pikachu and our Charmeleon. And uh, we're going to go beat up some foes. So let's do this. You snuck into Team Rocket's operation? What nerve. I'm ready. And whenever you guys get a Pokeball Plus, you get a free Mew. I have not claimed my Mew yet. I'm kind of going to wait a little bit here. All right, so this is going to be pretty interesting to play with this thing because it's just like pressing the, uh, the inwards button to choose your moves and then just selecting from there. So, yeah, I mean, I've got rel... Did you guys hear that? It made a sound. It made a sound. <laughs> Uh, I got relatively large hands, so it's inevitable that this is going to get a little bit uncomfortable because, like, just how big it is. But I can imagine, like, if you're a kid, if you have kids at home, that their this is going to be, like, the perfect size hands for them. So, or perfect for the size of their hands. So we'll give it a shot. Um, I'm not going to guarantee that I'm going to be using this throughout the entire Let's Play. Uh, we'll see about that. But, yeah, it's it's pretty cool so far. I love the lights that it has, like the li it lights up and everything like that. And let me tell you, it has a little USB charging spot on the back. When you plug that into your Nintendo Switch, it goes do 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 ding. Just like when you heal your Pokemon from the uh, the Pokemon Center. It's really cool. I heard that for the first time. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is actually the coolest thing that you program. So, anyway. So I got the wrist strap on, of course, and then of course you do have the ring too that you can kind of play like this if you wanted to, just so that you don't like lose it. So it's like two safeguards, because I can imagine, right? Back in like 2001 with like Nintendo Wii, where people throw in their Wiimotes at their TVs, I can imagine if you give this Pokeball Plus to a little kid, uh, you guys will absolutely uh, be scared of your kid tossing this actual Pokeball around and pot potentially breaking. <laughs> That was kind of cool. Crush. Potentially breaking something of yours, so it's uh, it's interesting. All right, so we're gonna keep battling, and I could I could learn to press B by clicking the top part. So it's, it's like it's kind of a I'll, I gotta get used to it. 
I gotta get used to it. And, like, I'm unable to press the Y button with this thing, which is kind of weird. Whoa, did you hear that? That was super effective damage coming out of this thing. I don't know if you guys heard that. Let me know, raise your hand in the comments. Did you guys hear, like, the additional sound coming off of this? I don't know if my mic can pick it up or whatnot, but it's cool, man. Okay, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll let you see it. Hold on, go back. I'll let you guys listen to it. Watch. Fight. Brick break. Cool, right? <laughs> kind of? You guys kind of heard that? I don't know. We're here. Okay, so we got beat bad. That's fine. Uh, no problem with that. Oh, there's a Pokeball underneath the little table here. Three mighty candies. We'll take it. <laughs> Pokeball plus is yours. Uh, the kids do not get this one. Am I a bad mom? No, you're fine. Pokeball, pl it's, it's pretty cute. It's pretty cute. And those of you guys that play Pokemon Go, I'm sure that you guys are going to love this because it has Pokemon Go functionality in it. So, I like that a lot. I don't play Pokemon Go too much anymore, but I love the fact that it's not just a inferior version of a Joy-Con. It's not just that, but it can do other things. Like, you can put your any of your Pokemon inside here, and you can take them out with you, and they can you can, like, shake it. You can see who's inside. I've got a Mew inside here right now, so we're not really doing anything with, with Pikachu or anything. Okay, so we got Hypno. I'm gonna do Zippy Zap. I'm gonna knock this guy out. Ooh, not enough. Headbutt, yikes. Headbutt, hey yo. Oh, that's not bad, we got him. Yo, he just critted me with that headbutt. This is our first time seeing a Hypno in the game, so that's kind of cool. We got the Pokedex seeing data on it. Okay, Diglett 23, we need a lot more levels. You know what I should be doing? I should be doing this, watch. Okay, Google. What level does Diglett evolve? According to Bulbapedia and Bulbagarden, Diglett is a brown type Pokemon introduced in Generation I. It evolves into Dugtrio starting at level 26. 26, got it. That's what I should have done. <laughs> Instead of be like, does anyone know? Does anyone know? So that's cool. Uh, Diglett evolves at level 26. For some reason, I thought it was like 33 or something. Uh, I'm gonna go over here. And it looks like, is this a dead end? No, it's not a dead end. All right, so we're gonna come this way. You found that big awakening. All right, so we're gonna go here to get that Pokeball, okay. So these little panels, you guys can see whatever arrow they're pointing on, you're going to keep on um, spinning. And you got TM05, rest, okay. Rest is all right, it's not really that great right now. Cause you don't have any hold items to wake you up right away. So I guess I'm going to go right here to have my choice of which way to go here. Oh my gosh, wow. So I can either go up or down. I'm gonna try to go down. No sense in going up. Right over here, I'm gonna go, yeah, this way. I'm gonna go around here, I'm gonna land downer. And if I go up, yeah, I'm gonna have access to this item. All right, we wanna get all the items. You never know if you're gonna find a TM. And that was awesome that we actually found a TM right over there. Okay, so one of the things that I'm noticing too about the Pokeball Plus is like, it's inevitable that the Pokeball Plus is gonna rotate in your hand. So if the Pokeball Plus is rotating in your hand, up, isn't necessarily up, you know what I mean? Like up could be like down, left, or right. So you gotta make sure that your red is on top and your white is on the bottom while you're playing with this thing. It's it's really interesting. It's an interesting way of playing the game. And especially like, if you got kids, I think it'd be pretty cool. So now that we have the way of moving, I'm going to kind of speed through this area. We're gonna go down. And then we're gonna go trying to go over to the uh, to the right over here. So we got a PP up. In case you guys don't know what a PP up is, that is where you can increase the max power points for any of your uh, items or sorry uh, moves in the game. 
It doesn't work without a key. All right, so we need a, some sort of card key in order to use the elevator, so let's do that. Okay, wow, there's schemes and plans on the tables here. All right, let's beat up these guys. What do you hope to achieve by coming here? Well, hopefully we can get a sylph scope of some sort. Maybe, maybe we can go see, see Giovanni for the first time. I don't, I don't really know what's gonna happen. Okay, here's Voltorb. Uh, so against an electric type, Pikachu has a really hard time fighting. Because all I have is Brick Break right now. I mean, I could use... I wish I had like a ground type move. That would make you really, really broken. If like Pikachu had like access to Earthquake or something, that would be so crazy. I just don't know how we're gonna get... Um, I don't know how we're going to a have access to like a million Poké Dollars though to get that crown. I don't even know. What do you guys think is going to be the way that we're going to um, grind money in this game? You think it's just beating the Elite Four a million times and a million times? Like in order to make money? Because that's how you made money in, in Pokémon uh, Gen 1. That's how you leveled up your Pokémon and that's how you uh, pretty much got as much money as you needed. I still remember that, dude. When I was in middle school, I would be like, all right, well, here's my new team. Let's get them all to level 100. I would just beat up the Elite Four nonstop. I'd be playing my Game Boy Color, and I'd just be, like, tapping the A button and just, like, using, like, like my strongest moves to sweep through these guys nonstop. It was cool. It was a cool time back in the day. All right, so we're going to do... Uh, I guess I'm going to do Zippy Zab. doesn't matter. This is Ekans over here. He will probably not be able to take one. But female Rocket Grunt... Female Rocket Grunt is definitely one of my favorite NPCs right now. I just love the design. It's like, it's sharp, it's sleek. It's never it's never before seen before. Like you, you don't, you don't see that. You don't see that every day. I love that. I would say I like her. You know, I don't even like uh, like the beauty ones. I don't even like the beauty ones at all. They just look so like dead. I don't know, what NPCs do you guys like that you've seen so far? You guys like the gamer NPC? The old dude? Probably not. Wow, Pikachu, you're not gonna- Oh, you did. You did, huh? You really did. Come on, Pikachu, shake it off. Survive on one HP. You can press Y by holding or pressing the B button. Is that right? I will I will take a look at that, Drew Patel. I've never tried that. I can't do it. See that? Best one. Biwa, you like the channelers? That's pretty cool. The channelers were pretty nice. Five great balls. Excellent. Thank you for that. I need to use an item. So let's let's take a look at this. So I'm gonna use a bag, um, let me see. So we can use the medicine. I've got a super potion floating around here. Yep, we're gonna use that to Pikachu. Okay, I'm gonna get out. Let's see, sort items. I don't know, dude, I'm holding the B button right now and Y's not coming out. You think it would be like hold B and press A in order to press the Y button? No, dude, I don't think that's a thing. If you guys know how to press the Y button on the Pokeball Plus, please enlighten me. Because I have a feeling it's just A and B right now. At least that's what I'm noticing from playing with this for the first time. Uh, like an actual retail version of it. What were we doing? Oh man, train of thought, gone. I don't even know what we picked up. A card key? I don't, I don't know. Dude, what just happened? All right, so I don't have the card key. Let's explore. Let's keep exploring. Oh yeah, here we go, dude. We got we got some work ahead of us. Excellent. Let's go. 
Oh yeah, we need an antidote on Pikachu. That's right. I was, that's what I was doing. I was in the middle of healing, or like at least talking to Pikachu to see if he can heal from the poison, uh, or she can heal from the poison, but I was too sidetracked with someone who claimed they knew how to uh, press the Y button on this thing, which is like a priority for me because that's one of the reasons why I didn't want to play with this thing is because I want to have access to the Y button. Cool, man, nice sound effects. I can only imagine, like, this pure white of this Pokeball right here is gonna get super dingy over time with, like, all your skin oils, and if you play with this for an extended amount of time, your, like, natural sweat that comes out of your hands, it'll get super dingy, but maybe this plastic is going to be, like, resistant to it, who knows? Okay, here we go. Uh, great NPC, thank you for that one. Love that. Hey, whoa, hold on! I was not expecting this. This is great news. That's one more thing off the Pokedex that we don't need. And then when we're, whenever we're ready to trade, yo, I'll trade this to one of you guys, and you can trade it right back. Let's, let's do that. Let's fill up this Pokedex, man. Okay, so we got Machoke, Machop. That's great. I'm excited for that one. Machoke. Superpower Pokemon. Wow, cool. All right, well, now we can switch him out with another Pokemon. Uh, try Y button by shaking the controller? Nah, dude. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, that actually worked. Hold on, you shake the thing in order to press the Y button? Dude, no one told me that. Oh my God, that was a really good one. Who is that? Who is that? Who said that? Aniyuza, uh, I can't even, I'm, I'm not even gonna attempt to say your name, but thank you. That was it. That was the thing that we wanted to, uh, to do. Good job. That's how you press the Y button with this, you shake. Hey, it's okay, Pikachu, come on. Don't be sad, you look tired, I know, I know. Here, come on, give me this. I'll make you feel better, here you go. Atta girl. Come on, I want max happiness. Oh, thank you. Remember we played a uh, high five <laughs> with Pikachu before? That was awesome. Watch, look. You shake for Y. That's so insane. That is really insane right now. Good job. When I was at the Pokemon tour in Chicago, and I was playing with this with the actual like people that were there, dude, no one knew that. And I was under the impression that you couldn't do it. So it's an inferior control scheme. Come on, man. Wow, that was so bad. All right, well, now we know. Dude, it's not too inferior now. I mean, it's it's a little weird because it, it, get, it gets a little um, off-centered in your hand. But, dude, forget it. You have access to Y right now. It's perfect. So, you know what? Thank you, guys. Thank you for telling me about that. I would have never thought that a button press would be um, assigned to shaking. Just go figure, man. All right, anyway. So now that we're here, we figured that out. You guys know now as well, uh, playing along with this. You guys know how to do that. So I'm super happy. I'm actually very happy about that. Thank you. Okay, so I need to go... Wow, I need to go this way. Yeah, in order to get that one. Perfect. Rare candy. Awesome. Remember, with your rare candy, save those. Do not use them right away. I know you want to. I know you guys all want to use that rare candy, but save them to the end of the game. You'll thank me later. Like I said earlier, rare candies are more worth it on uh, Pokemon who are at higher levels than just using them right now. So, oh man, I don't know where, oh, I know where to go. Here we go. We're going to go straight down, and then I'm going to go around, and we should be set. I'm going to do one more battle, and then we should be good to go. Okay, stop meddling in Team Rocket's affairs. Dude, don't you worry about it, guys. I got this. I got it, Grunt. This Pikachu here, we can we eat Rattatas. I'm like the bigger mouse. You know, I keep on thinking that like Pikachu's a cat, though. You know? Oh, I still have this poison status. Yeah, I better uh, I better fix that, huh? Oh, Sucker Punch! Dang! I said, watch out for that Sucker Punch, Pikachu! And then Pikachu just stood there and dodged it. That's insane. <laughs> that was pretty cool, actually. Huh? So Sucker Punch has more priority over the Zippy Zap move. So if I use Zippy Zap, you think you're going to go first, but that's not the case. So I'm getting hurt by poison. Here comes Voltorb. 
I'll stay in. I have a feeling I'm gonna get self-destructed on, so watch out. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna use Brick Break twice. And then I'm hoping that I'll survive whatever you got. Screech! Okay, that's good. There's no way this thing can go faster than me. But the poison is gonna take a little bit of damage, and then we win, so... Oh, hey! Pikachu managed to expel the poison! Dude, that's awesome! That's what I was waiting for! Alright, so that's one of the abilities that your partner Pokémon can get. Similar to that of Pokémon Ami in the previous generations of games where... Just due to the fact that your Pikachu loves you, you're just gonna get rid of the poison. So that's awesome, I saved myself an antidote. Oof! Taken down, wow. He said oof. He said oof. He did do that. Alright. Dude, we're looking good. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, there's a, a board of the Kanto region. Hyper Potion, okay. Oh, 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 oh. Hey, I don't- oh, another PP up. I don't have that item on the bottom there. I wonder how to get that. Maybe... maybe I'll have access to it a little bit later. Alright, who do we have here? Hello. Haha, ah, what's that? You say the elevator doesn't work? Of course not. I've been keeping the lift key safe this whole time. I'm remembering. I'm remembering when we were given a Master Ball, right? I don't think we get a Master Ball here, at least I don't remember. But we get a Master Ball given to us. And I'm just like, I'm thinking about going into that Mewtwo battle. <laughs> And historically, people, like, missing their Master Ball toss and then resetting the game. Good job! There we go! I think Grimer's more physically bulky, base stat-wise, so I opted to go with that one. Wait, I didn't change out- oh, I didn't change out Machoke. That's what I was also gonna do. I was a little sidetracked. Okay. I gotta change out Machoke. There's no point in using him. God, now how am I supposed to, uh, keep you from taking the lift key? I guess I'll have to use my own kind of struggle. You just took it and ran? I hope my boss, my bosses don't hear about this. What just happened? Haha, <laughs> whew. Without a key, there's no way you'll make it to the boss. If you think you get it back from up there, then I'd sure like to see you try. Okay, that's interesting. Do I have to climb up on these rafters in order to get it now? Like, what? Okay, so here we go. That's so crazy! He just, like, threw it up there. But he didn't throw it up there. He just stood in a, in a thing and it faded to black. Like, you couldn't animate what throwing a card key up there looks like. Anyway, I digress. Uh, so we need... I don't know who's next up on the list for evolution. We got this Diglett that we're working on. Um, we can do Krabby... Okay, Google. What level does Krabby evolve? According to Bulbapedia, Bulbagarden, it evolves into Kingler starting at level 28. Okay, cool. That's eight levels of, uh, of a commitment. I'll do that, whatever. Alright, so 28. <laughs> That's pretty cool. <laughs> how the heck do I get up there? Hold on, hold on. Climb up these boxes, dude. No, seriously, like, what is your problem? There's no way you're getting that lift key now. Not unless you know some way to walk on top of the walls or something like that happened. Oh, uh, that Pokemon of yours looks pretty nimble, I gotta say. Uh, I was not about to check that area, so Pikachu, get up there. If there were a step stool or something, maybe it'd be possible to reach it from there. Oh, there's a lot of boxes. Look around and see if you can find something you can climb up on. This cardboard box is so heavy you can't lift it. How about these? Or how about this chair? Okay, this chair could probably be used as a step. Don't you dare do that. Don't try this at home. Are you kidding me? Using a chair that has wheels on it, you're gonna step on it? You're gonna break your neck. No, man. No, this is a bad example of what not to do. You're gonna fall and trip. Pika, Pika, okay. Wow. That's so dangerous, guys. That is, you have no idea how dangerous that is. 
unless you have a spotter that's holding the chair for you, you're gonna like wobble and you're gonna fall and break your neck. Now's the time for your partner to shine. Get the key that Team Rocket grunt threw. Oh, dude, hold on. What do I, oh, I get to, oh, oh, I'm gonna go this way. Where'd that Cubone come from, boss? Ma, two of my underlings decide to bring it here without my permission. The skull on its head is very beautiful. We should be able to sell it for a good price once it becomes a Marowak. Oh. Looks like they're talking about something complicated. Look at that picture of Persian in the background. Wow, so cool. All right, so I'm Pikachu here. This is great. I actually get to control a Pikachu. Oh, wow, this is awesome. That's really cute. It's like blasters or something. Hey, hey, taking a page from blasters, huh? <laughs> All right, hey, good job, little one, good job. Get that, get that Pokeball. You got the lift key. Did you hear something just now? I did, there was definitely a noise. Could it be an intruder? Grr, uh, never mind. It must have been uh, Meowth's hungry tummy. Don't get me all worried over nothing. The boss's Persian is so elegant. And that fake out move it uses, it always makes an opponent flinch in battle. And it, and it's strong and cool. Meowth, you gonna say anything? That's right. You gonna jump? Hey! Come on! Give me like a little cutscene of Pikachu jumping into your arms. Like, come on. Like, is that... Am I the only one that wanted something like that? Like a little cherry on top? Little, little, little paying attention to detail? Am I, raise your hand in the comments if you, if you thought that that would have been like super cool. We get a fully CGI cutscene of the SSN leaving the dock. Oh, I'm sorry, this is the way we have to go. No, it's not, this is the way. You get a fully, uh, you know, full CGI cutscene of the SSN leaving the dock, but you don't give me a, a Pikachu flying into my arms? Like, all right, whatever. <laughs> that would have been cool. Uh, I'm going to go down. It's just like, if if you're done with the game, right? The game's ready to go, ready to submit to Nintendo, saying, hey, here's Pokemon, let's go. Take a look at it, we're done with it. Then I would say, you know what? I would say, take it back. Take it back, work on it, tweak it, give me some little final touches of detail, and then come back to me, and then we'll talk, you know what I mean? That's exactly what I, I would've done. Be like, all right, cool. You wanna change up all the NPCs? Make them slightly different, so they're not all the exact same copy-paste. Add in a couple Pikachu cute cutscenes where uh, your trainer interacts with them. And then I'd be like, all right, cool, let's, let's ship it out. You, you're that twerp from Mount Moon. Just how long are you gonna follow us around? I know I'm beautiful, but what do you want? Uh, I wanna join Team Rocket. I always wanted to. What, really? You certainly do show potential. Uh, though you're not nearly as beautiful as me. Wait a minute, you're trying to trick me. It doesn't matter, there's no way we're gonna let you see the boss. It's payback time for those fossils from Mount Moon, you brat. Remember on Nugget Bridge, we had the opportunity to join Team Rocket, but we couldn't, we couldn't answer yes. Team Rocket rules. Team Rocket likes, uh, they've got a theme going, you know, with all their Pokemon. They seem to be poison types. What is Venusaur doing here? Get out of here. You sleep powder, man. All right, so we're gonna use uh, Zippy Zap on... I'll use T-Bolt, I guess. I'll use T-Bolt on Weezing. Weezing seems to be like, what, a physical tank? And then I've got the sleep powder. All grass moves. Oh, gosh, this is gonna be a repeat of Mount Moon. It really is. Two hit KO. And a paralysis, wow, dang, dude. Sleep powder, oh, dang, that would have been awesome. <gasps> Who? Venusaur, paralyzed. 
Weezing, fully paralyzed. That would have been awesome if we got the sleep attack or the uh, the sleep powder off. All right, so I'm gonna use another T-Bolt on Weezing over here, and then I'm gonna try again to put uh, Arbok to sleep because that's really all I can do with Venusaur. A grass type move is not very effective against both these poison types. Oh, look at this big Venusaur though. That's huge compared to Pikachu. I think that's awesome. Just seeing them in real life next to each other. Attack stat is at 95. Wow. We got a physically offensive Pikachu here. Awesome. Uh, Dennis Billington, can you recite Team Rocket's motto? Of course I can. <laughs> but will I though? Probably not. You guys can recite Team Rocket's motto. <laughs> but thank you for the super chat, dude. All right, so we got this, uh, we got this Arbok right over here, this Cobra, this Cobra spelled backwards. Uh, I'm gonna use Zippy Zap because it's a little bit stronger based off my physical attack stat. And I guess I'm just gonna use Petal Dance because he's asleep, so we might as well. Zippy Zap, 50% health, done. Maybe 70? Yeah, about 70, okay, that's not bad. What I was expecting. Pedal Dance is not very effective, but I'm not about to waste a turn switching out because he's done anyway the next turn. Or a nice KO. Hey, that was pretty good. Yo, Pedal Dance is a good move. Although it's kind of like Outrage, like where it just does the attack, the damage, and then you become confused afterwards. But if you can uh, ensure a one-hit KO, it doesn't even matter. Okay, uh, but I was so confident this time. Awesome. Oh, how infuriating. Don't let it go to your head just because your Pokemon were a teeny bit stronger. Wah, wah, a teeny bit stronger? Yeah, right. Exactly. And even if you did defeat us in battle, we're still bigger and stronger than you. We'll just use brute force to... To what? He, Pik Pikachu says, you got something to say? Let's go. Eek! Looks like Team Rocket's blasting me off again. Hey, what's up, games? Go bam. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. All right, hey. Yeah, there we go. Pikachu looks completely exasperated. All right, don't worry, I got you, buddy. Those are, those are different laughs. I've never heard a Pikachu laugh like that before. You hungry? You hungry? Oh, I got your favorite. These. You guys can hear that? That's like actual chomping that's coming out of this thing. Oh, I did not know that was a thing. Watch. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's like chomp, chomp, chomp. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Dude. It's like, it's like the Wiimote technology back in the day, right? If you put sound on your Wiimote. It's exactly like that. You gotta- Oh, thank you so much! <laughs> Pikachu, Pikachu's like, hey, here's a present. It better be like a marble or something cute like that you found on the floor. It's a tiny mushroom, great. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it, Pikachu. What a good girl. Alright, let's go. Who's this guy in the blue, though? I don't know who this guy in the blue uh, hair is. Just one look at this Sylph scope and it's plain to see. Sylph code definitely has a technology uh, and skill Team Rocket will need to make our wishes come true. Huh. A machine that lets you see what otherwise cannot be seen. It's nothing but a useless toy. Still. Yes, this could do. Carry on, Archer. Archer? Isn't Archer from like, uh, Sapphire or something? Oh no, it's Archie. Never mind. Who's, who the, who's Archer? Uh, with your plans to take over Sylph Co for Team Rocket. Yes, sir. How do I not recognize this guy? I'm sure he's in one generation. What's a child doing here? You listen in our conversation without saying a word? I don't care much for that. I'm Archer, the admin of Team Rocket. And I do not go easy even on children. I don't know, man. Refresh my memory. Archer? Okay. Some of you guys are saying from Heart Gold Soul Silver. Could be. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Let's do the sure fire move or the sure hit move. 
pick up a pal. Oh, come on, one HP. Sludge bomb, ouch. I should have healed before this battle. I'm getting hurt. He's probably he's probably gonna use a potion right now. If he uses a potion, then I lose. Okay, we're gonna take this poison hit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice, nice. You expelled that poison, man. Just one turn of it. Send out Golbat, we win. We win right now, because I got priority, and Golbat doesn't have access to Fake Out. And there's nothing you can do about this. I'm gonna stay right in, we're gonna Zippy Zap, and you're gone. I know that's a one-hit KO. Boom, that's so strong, your HP eviscerated. Done. Good job, Pikachu. I knew you could do it. All right, so I need to heal up. I need to heal up this Pikachu. We're doing some real good work. Diglett growing to 24. I think I should put my uh, Venusaur away. What do you guys think? Like, I'm not really using Venusaur. Because I want to keep on getting uh, more Pokemon leveled up. Forgive me, Giovanni. For me to be defeated by a simple child. Who are you calling simple? Oh, man. He's stepping up over here. Oh, it gives me opportunity to, to save, or actually to um, to heal up. Hoo-wee. Let's heal up. We got uh, two super potions should do it. Or, you know, I actually have the, um, I have like some water, right? How do you want to sort them? By type. Okay, so Soda Pop gives me how much? 50? Yeah, sure. That'll be worth I'll do some work. We'll restore 31. Okay. Oh, uh, we got Venusaur that's paralyzed. We're not going to use him. Pikachu's got this. All right, let's go beat up Giovanni. So, you defeated Archer. I must say, I'm impressed you got here. Team Rocket captures Pokemon from around the world. They're important tools for keeping our criminal enterprise going. I'm the leader of this enterprise, Giovanni. Oh, you don't like him, huh? What, you want me to release the Cubone? Fwah! <laughs> you came barging into our hideout just for that. What an amusing child. But, for your insolence, you will feel a world of pain. Wow. Ooh, Giovanni, two Pokemon. Persian? Rhyhorn? Question mark? I don't know. Most likely I'm gonna get faked out by this thing because James was saying that this Persian knew fake out. So, wow, this is gonna be a really interesting battle. Let's do Brick Break. That's cool, thanks. Dang. That's it, I knew you could do it. Slash, no crits, no crits. That's strong. It doesn't know quick attack. Please throw in like a flying type Pokemon, like. Rhyhorn, dude. That's what I thought, man. We'll, we'll stay in. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch. I'm not gonna risk it, man, because Dude, if you risk it right now, it's over. Because you can't one-hit KO Rhyhorn with a Brick Break. You just can't, and then you're gonna eat an Earthquake or a Drill Run? Nah, it's not worth it to me. But I can see where Giovanni will ruin your Pikachu-only run. I can totally see it, so... That's real tough. I think you'd hit a wall right here. You really hit a wall, unless somehow, like, you go for the Brick Break, Pikachu dodges it because it loves you, and then you do another Brick Break, I can see that working out. But, dude, you gotta be really lucky for that to happen. Uh, so, I too am defeated by a child. Do you wish, uh, do you wish? Do as you wish with that Cubone. Alright, got it. 
And take this as my apology for mocking you as a child. Sylphscope? Huh. I thought it was like a... like a telescope. But it's a pair of binoculars. Interesting. I can see you raise Pokémon with utmost care, but you would never understand what I hope to achieve. I shall step aside this time. But I hope we will meet in battle again. See? I like Giovanni. Team Rocket rules! He won't head it back to Lavender Town. Oh, that was awesome. Maybe the Sylph Scope, uh, you'll be able to uh, find out and identify that ghost? Question mark? Look at this beautiful Persian! Do you guys see this right here? And look, it's his Rhydon! That's amazing. See, this is what I'm talking about. This is the level of detail that I expect from TPCI. Like, I expect this. So great, these are the Pokemon that he likes a lot. And these are the Pokemon that he has. So it only makes sense to put like really cool artwork in his room. So cool. All right, give me this chair. And I can't sit on his throne either. Come on, dude. You... Oh, that was cool. A Max Revive. That'll come in handy. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. I was just pressing the A button. You found a Max Revive? You can't like look on his computer and see his plans for world domination. How about you, Archer? Archer? Cubone seems to have gone home on its own. Why don't you get out of here too and try to figure out how to use that Sylph scope or something? All right, that, that, that was cool. All right. So that's the game corner. <laughs> the bottom, uh, the bottom floors of this place. That was really great. I like that one a lot. So let's continue on. We've got, we've got what? A little bit more? Should we... What do you guys think? Should we go beat up Erica? Oh no, I, I, I gotta go up. Should we go beat up Erica or should we go to Lavender Town and see what's going on with that uh, Sylph Scope? I don't really know the order of operations. I think it goes, you can beat Erica, you go over to Lavender Town Pokemon Tower, you get the... You calm down the Pokemon, then you see... Okay, yeah, you know what? I think that's what you have to do. Then you see Mr. Fuji, he gives you the Poke Flute. And then you're able to move elsewhere. Holy moly, balloons! Yes! 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 Teach me the secret move! And shout in my ears. Shout right in my face with your megaphone. Oh, you're curious, aren't you? You're curious about me and this machine. You want to know the details? Yeah, I do. You're going to teach me to fly to anywhere. If you insist, this machine is a great vehicle that allows you to fly in the sky. It's a marvelous invention, if I do say so myself. It's not an exaggeration to say that this is a secret technique. Even though I worked really hard on this, nobody wants to try it. You seem to be a courageous young boy. I'll tell you how to ride this secret machine. It's called the Secret Technique Skydash. Oh, that Pikachu wants to fly my invention instead of you? Great. It matches my inspiration perfectly. Let's get right to it. Do this and that. Hold this to handle and pull. All right, and then you'll, uh, and then that will be like that. And these balloons, you're in the air. Okay, you learned Secret Technique Skydash. Cool. Use a sec Secret Technique Skydash and you can fly to a town. Select Play with Pikachu in the main menu and then select Secret Techniques. You can have this machine, so be sure to enjoy many trips throughout the sky. Aw, oh, thank you, dude. That was awesome. How about you? You got something to teach me? Oh, you lost again? What a loser. <laughs> Abdallah was here. That old man is a loser. Right? Is that what Gary says? All right, so let's go beat up Erica, and we're gonna go. Once we're done with Erica, we'll go to Lavender Town on the next episode, which will allow us to go to the south if we get that Poke Flute and catch Snorlax. So I'm gonna save before we catch Snorlax, and we should be good. Maybe I should go heal up my Pokemon first. Yeah, let's go heal up Pokemon first, and then I don't need Venusaur in my party. Like, there's no point in that. So Venusaur, you can take a back seat. I think it's great that you evolved and everything like that, but I've got other Pokemon that are uh, in need of that experience. Such as... Oddish? Paris? Venonat? Uh, yeah, we can do Paris. We'll add Paris to the party instead of Venusaur. And then we got Krabby, Charmeleon, Diglett. Yeah, this is good. I mean, I don't really need the other Pokemon. So I think we're set. Pikachu is not healthy. Okay, so we need to do that. Pikachu's at level 39, guys. I don't know if you saw that. Dude, and you can shake this to... Whoa, whoa, look at... Whoa, dang, nice moves. 
Pikachu's been acting this way since it saw someone dancing a while ago. Those are some pretty sweet moves, dude. Dang. Oh, you don't like that? Oh, I'm tickling. Oh, it's tickling you? Oh, that's cute. I'm telling you. Pikachu is like... Pikachu has evolved in a way of, like, friendship. I'm getting, like, different sounds out of this Pikachu, which is so cute. Anyway, so let's go heal up. We're gonna go get Erica, and then I think we're gonna end off the episode. We'll jump into another episode really quick. So let's go heal up. Let's go beat up Erica. We'll make a new thumbnail, which will be fun, and uh, we'll call it a day. Right? Good job, Pikachu. I can't wait to start surfing though. Like we need to surf. We need Pokemon that know how to surf. Because there's so many things that you can have access to once you do that. Alright, slicing. Charmeleon, I'm over here, buddy. Oh, it's a Jigglypuff, and hey, it's a lass. My Jigglypuff has an adamant nature. It's easy to raise its attack stat, but not so easy to raise its special attack stat. Its double slap is a real slap in the face. Wow. Cute. Hey, hold on, hold on. There's a creepy old man looking in the window. We need to go say hi to him first. I'll say hi to him after the battle. Remind me to go say hi to the old man. Oh, so you want to challenge Erica, the gym leader. I'll have you know, we only let trainers with cute Pokemon enter the gym. Do you have one? Here, let me see. My Pikachu's cute. Do you think my Diglett's cute? It's cute, super cute. Can, can I pet it just a bit, please? <laughs> oh, it feels so good. I just want to bury my face in its belly. It smells good too, I love it. Fine then, I guess I have to let you in to sell it on City Gym, seeing as you brought a cute Pokemon and all. That's cute. All right, well, I mean, cute is subjective. I don't really know what other Pokemon you need to go into this battle with. But, oh, look, Erica, right up ahead. Wow. Erica's looking good. What a great design of this uh, gym. Like, right, you see Erica so far into the, into the distance, and you try to go over to her, but you can't find the courage to take one foot step over into the ledge over here. Nope, impossible. Hey, you. Ah, you're the one who I saw earlier. I'll show you my cute Pokemon. What happens if I showed her my Diglett? <laughs> Would you think she'd like my Diglett? I don't know. It's, it's weird. That's a cool looking Diglett, man. It doesn't have like the three little uh, lightning rods on it. But, hey, remember we had a hard time against grass type Pokemon? We got Floaty Fall now. Whoa, hold on. What? And I get toxic. Oh my gosh. I need some uh, antidotes here. Or just you shrug it off. Toxic. Badly. Oh, nice. Just gone. In one turn. That's good. Fly up. Wow. <laughs> Every time Pikachu turns around like that. You're too rough. I'm sorry. Look at all these weeds. Nice heels. You can see those heels on that girl right there? Dang. I don't think I ever noticed her heels. I only noticed like Lorelai's heels, man. We're just cleaning up. Oh gosh, here we go. I'm like, why? Oh, okay, nope. I was gonna say, like, why is my control askew? All right, here we go, heal time. All right, heals, come here. Dang, those are like stilettos. What is she doing? Just in a gym area, it's like, beauty my, hey. Execute, 
Done. We're gonna execute the execute. You can call my little Pikachu the uh, executioner. Done. See, it's so great that our partner Pikachu was able to learn this flying type move so we can wreck this entire gym. Give me a break. Sorry, I didn't mean to make you shed one tear. See you, lady. No, uh, no compliments from her? Dang. Like, usually I get some compliments from the beauties, right? Nothing. Uh, weren't you peeking in here earlier? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the old man in the window. That's not me. How can you mistake me for an old man in the window, dude? And it seems like it's an all-girls gym, right? Because remember Brock? What Brock couldn't even come in? Like, Brock was like... He was rejected. Brock was rejected by all these ladies. And Brock traveled all the way from Pewter City with his Pewter City delicacies to give a present to all of these wonderful ladies in the gym and they wouldn't let him in? That's rude. That's rude to me. What do you guys think? Is that rude or what? I don't want to see myself lose. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually talk to you. What do you have to say? Oh, you were looking at Erica. You weren't looking at me. Oh, that's sad. I'm sorry. In Erica's shadow. Look, look, see my Pokemon. I like the grass type. I like how they're easy to raise. Hmm. Well, I guess grass types are easy to raise, right? Case in point, Venusaur evolves at 32, while Blastoise and Char Charizard evolve at uh, 36. Yeah, maybe. Floaty fall. That's cool. You can listen to it. This Pokeball Plus is kind of cool. It just feels like it's it's a little small for my hand. That's the only problem I have with it. I don't know if any of these Grass-type Pokemon are going to survive a floaty fall from my Pikachu. No one's gonna survive this Pikachu attack. And we're getting all this money too, which is awesome. So when you guys play Pokemon main series games, what do you guys do when it comes to all of the different gyms? Do you guys battle every single gym trainer and gain that awesome experience and money? Or do you guys head straight over to the gym leader? I'm curious, which one do you guys do in the comments? And let me know why you do that. Okay, so this is gonna be a jump down. I don't wanna do that. We already beat up that beauty. So, yeah, we're kind of exploring her over here. It's seeing who we can see in Erica's gym. And look, the, the camera just pans in towards Erica. That's cute! And then it pans right back out. Like, so close, but yet so far. Uh, what's your hobby? Yes, let's battle Pokemon. What's my hobby? You guys have any hobbies? Beauty Lori. Hey, Lori. Got that stinky gloom. Gloom, gloom. <laughs> Want to hear a funny story? Here's a funny story. So, I was talking to Jess, and I don't know how the subject of gloom came up. Gloom, the Pokemon right here that with the drool. So, the subject of gloom came up, and I said, Jess, do you know what a gloom sounds like? And she goes like this. Yeah, of course I know what a gloom sounds like. Gloom, gloom. <laughs> gloom, gloom. <laughs> and I'm like, Jess, that's the complete opposite of what a gloom sounds like. Gloom does not have a crazy deep voice. Gloom has a very high pitched voice. Gloom, gloom. Or at least the gloom from the anime did. So that was kind of funny. I'm like, Jess, no, it goes gloom, gloom. She goes, no, it doesn't. 
my gloom goes like gloom gloom. So funny. Gloom. All right, let's do this. We're gonna gloom gloom it up. Floaty fall, I'm running out of power points for this, so we may need to like actually get out of the gym, go heal up power points, and then go from there. Doo, 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 doo. Oh man, that level 40 Pikachu, looking good, looking good. We're using Pikachu throughout the entire game here, this is fine. Simply because when it comes down to it, am I really going to use the random Charmander or the random uh, Squirtle that I found? No. Oh, look at Tangela, dang, that looks really cool in 3D. It's got shoes and everything. Or are those not even shoes? Are those just its feet that look like shoes? I never looked at Tangela's feet before. Oh my gosh, Tangela survived that hit. Tangela's really uh, defensively bulky. Holy moly, let's do it again. Luckily we got that flinch. Tangela used counter, Pikachu down. <laughs> oh no, Tangela doesn't have access to counter. That'd be funny though. Lay back. All right. So, kind of worried about Tangela. Doesn't Erica have a Tangela? Oh, beaten. Thanks for that money, though. That's like 10 great balls. I'm noticing that none of these ladies are complimenting me. I'm kind of sad. I feel a little... I feel a little sad. Dude. Like, all day yesterday, I was getting compliments left and right from all these, uh, all these trainers. I'm not getting a single one today. Oh, hey, we don't like bug or fire type Pokemon in here. That's mean. You don't like my Charmeleon that's uh, following behind me? All right, Lena. Go on, Pikachu. I know you can do it. You got three. So I'm guessing Bulbasaur, maybe you're gonna have an Oddish or something. But no, I definitely have to get out of here. I have to get out of here simply because I'm running out of power points on this move. I was hoping that I could do it in just like one run, but I'm running out, so... If I'm able to one-shot each of these Pokemon, I'm gonna leave, and I'm gonna come right back. Paris 17, great. Do I know what level Paris evolves at? Uh, I forget. Okay, Google. What level does Paris evolve? No, that's not what I asked. Uh, starting at 24. Okay, 24, I just looked at the screen. Starting in Generation I. How many guys Generation... <laughs> generation Iers out there? <laughs> generation I. Oh, so good, so good. 24 is not that long away. I can, I can raise him to 24 to get a Parasect. Wait, who's being sad? Oh no, I don't need the I don't need you guys to compliment me. Nah man, I'm talking about in-game. You guys the fact that you're watching is a compliment more than itself. So no, don't have to compliment me. Don't compliment me in the comments. <laughs> I don't need that. <laughs> I'm talking about them. I want some I want like a joke. I want something funny to happen on screen after I beat the ladies. But they seem to be stingy about their compliments. No, but thank you, all you guys that uh, are showing me with real actual compliments about me. That's fun. That's awesome. I appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> I was not directly talking to you guys, but you guys are very, you guys are too kind. Way too kind. Okay, so here we go. I need to leave, but I want to see exactly how many more trainers I need to battle before all this. I was looking at the comments. I'm like, why are you guys all like saying stuff to me? Like, what is that? Why are you guys doing that? Okay, so no, I made it. I made it to the end. This is great. This is a great opportunity to heal. So I'm going to leave the area. Uh, and then we're just gonna do the little wrap around and we're going to, um, we're gonna go like that. Oh, we're gonna talk to the old man first. Haha, -ha, this gym is great. It's full of strong trainers. I don't think that's what he said in the uh, first generation. I don't think that's what he said at all. Oh, 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 Pikachu, fly. Uh, mm, no, 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 no. Gotcha. <laughs> You must have seen something strange because his mouth is hanging open. Fly me to this place, Sky Dash. Go! 
All right. Wow. That's so dangerous, I'm not even wearing a helmet. What happens if like a flock of Spiro? If a flock of Spiro just came in and started like popping all the balloons, like what would happen then? Am I the only one that's worried about the trainer's safety? Like he's, he's using a wheeled uh, office chair as a stepping stool. Instead of grabbing one box at a time, <laughs> use a wheeled chair as a stepping stool. Oh my gosh, what a kid. Don't try this at home, ladies and gentlemen. Don't try this at home. Okay, so here we are. Uh, we're at the top of the hour, so I do want to say shout out to our friends over at Nintendo uh, for providing us a copy of uh, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. So yeah, if you guys didn't enter our giveaway, please do that. Okay, someone tell me what, what the old man who's looking in the window says in Generation 1 Pokemon. Because I know he doesn't say that. I know he says something else. If I remember from a long time ago. I want the exact quote. Go. Ready? Go find it. He is he said something really awesome in the old days, but I think he got I think he got nerfed. <laughs> I think he got nerfed in 2018 to be a little bit more politically correct. <laughs> From my, if my memory serves me right, that is definitely not what he said. Um, like, oh, the trainers are really good or something like that. All right, Erica, we're coming for you. I'm going to try not to switch into Charmeleon, but you guys are more than welcome to switch to your fire type Pokemon. I'm sure you guys caught a Growlithe or you guys caught a... Uh, Vic, what is that? A uh, Vulpix? Or if you guys have a Charmander too, like I do, then you guys should be all set. Okay, that's a wrong turn. Charmeleon keeps on getting lost, but luckily I taught Charmeleon teleport, so he can teleport right behind me. Charmeleon, use teleport. Good boy. All right, here we are, ladies and gents. We made it to Erica. Hello, Erica. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? So pleasant. Hello. I, I, I. Oh dear, I must have dozed off. Welcome. My name is Erica. I'm the gym leader of the Celadon City Gym. I'm a student of the art of flower arranging. My Pokemon are all of the grass type. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you perhaps wish to challenge me? Very well, but I shall not lose. Okay. Wake up, sleepyhead. You're about to get rocked. Oh, Tangela, that's a two-hit KO. Hopefully I get a flinch. Because I don't know what it's going to do to me. Vine Whip, Wrap. No, I don't think it has access to Leech Seed, does it? Anyway, Floaty Fail. Floaty Fall. Don't be a Floaty Fail. Okay, good. We Floaty Failed once. <laughs> we don't want to do that again. Or give me a crit. One HP, alright. Flinch. Crit. Mega Drain. Missed because I yelled at Pikachu and said, Watch out for that Mega Drain. Awesome. Floaty Fall again because you're going to use a potion. You're not going to use a potion on your tank. Okay, okay. I'll take that. Man, the game is easy mode. It really is. With this, like, affection between Pikachu and I, the game is really easy mode. If it wasn't easy mode already. I'm not complaining. It makes it accessible for those new to the series, but... Wait until post-game. Diglett grew to 25. Okay. Diglett wants to learn Sucker Punch. Wow, Diglett with Sucker Punch is pretty good. I didn't know you had access to it. Great. Here we go. We don't need Sand Attack. Vile Plume. Ooh, Vile Plume. Okay, wow, look at this big Vile Plume. That thing's huge. It's huge! <laughs> right? <laughs> Get up there, Floaty Fall. Give me that two hit KO. Not bad. Mega Drain, miss. Okay, doink. 
That's a lot of, that's a, that's a, like a three to four hit KO, but that's okay. I'll knock out your Vileplume the next turn. It doesn't matter. You don't have priority, so I'm glad that Vileplume didn't use Sleep Powder because I would have been in a world of hurt playing the whole Awakening, Sleep Powder again, Mega Drain, Awakening. That would have been really bad. So Pikachu is soloing this uh, gym leader right now, which is awesome. I don't want to switch out. I really don't. I think that Pikachu can do this. Bubble Beam? Uh, no. Bubble Beam's lame. Weepin' Pell. I don't know how physically defensive Weepin' Bell is. Maybe it's another 2 KO. He's probably gonna hit me with a Razor Leaf or something. Oh, no. Never mind, dude. You're out of here. One hit KO. Oko! Pokeball plus drop, baby. We're in this. Pokeball plus drop. Easy, man. Way to go, Erica. Nice knowing you. Uh, yeah, thank you for that. You are remarkably strong. That's a nice compliment. We'll take it. I must confer on you a rainbow badge. Ready for a high five? Think. Okay, so we got the rainbow badge. Uh, raises the level of Pokemon willing to listen to you to level 50 for Pokemon that you have received from other trainers. And here, if you'd like, please also take this with you. Giga Drain TM? Mega Drain? Dude, why would you want Mega Drain? It's an inferior Giga Drain. Sorry. Half the damage inflicted uh, heals your Pokemon. Wouldn't you agree that it's a wonderful move? Uh, no, I wouldn't actually. It's a, it's a knockoff, it's a knockoff Giga Drain. Looks like Pikachu is ex exhausted from how nervous it was. Seems it had fun though. Good job, Pikachu. You soloed. You soloed that boss battle. Good job. <laughs> yeah, good job. Keep going. All right, round of applause, everyone. Round of applause emojis for our awesome Pikachu over here that we're gonna get a little tickle on. Good job. You know what? You deserve a treat for that. Let's let's get a treat. You worked very hard for that one. Did you enjoy that? Good. I'm going to save these berries for actually catching Pokemon, so... Good work, Pikachu! I mean, unless they buff the, uh, the power of Mega Drain in this game... In Generation 1? No, it doesn't matter if it's... Giga Drain was accessible in there or not. What do you have to say for yourself, old man? It's full of strong trainers. <laughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm going to, I'm gonna see if this works. Shake. Oh, wow, with your twinkling eyes. What a beautiful girl, wow. All right, we're gonna go Sky Dash. And we're gonna go to Lavender Town. Lavender. Give me a soft landing, okay? I got very sensitive ankles. <laughs> Let's go. All right, here we go. Round of applause. We are going to save right over here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is, is going to be the episode. I don't know what we're going to do on the next one. We're going to go to the Pokemon Tower. We're going to go to Pokemon Tower. Uh, we're going to use the Sylph Scope. And then we're going to follow it south to maybe Fuchsia City. Fuchsia City, we get... I don't even know. I don't even know. It, it, we're playing this game blind. Like, you may think that you know oh, 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 what goes on. I'm going to save right here. You may think that you know what goes on since you played Pokemon Yellow. But the game will take you for a loop, so... Wow, what a good episode today. What did you guys think? Uh, battling against Erica, fun, yeah. Awesome. Get rid of that, and then boom. So I'm gonna take this off. That's gonna be it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, on our next episode, like I talked to you about, we got Gary over there in the corner. We're gonna go say hi to him. We got the Sylph Scope. We're gonna go catch some ghost Pokemon. Uh, hopefully we can get a Ghastly, a Haunter, uh, anything like that would be really fun. I'm in the mood for catching some Pokemon since we haven't done that in a while. And then we're going to head south. Hopefully we can get the Poke Flute from Mr. Fuji, if that's kind of what happens in the natural progression of the game. We're going to go wake up a Snorlax. 
and then make our way to Fuchsia? Maybe. Who knows? Make sure you guys don't miss it, though. Okay, so here we go. That's it. Thanks for watching. So, yeah, we've got an awesome giveaway that we're doing. Make sure you guys enter that by answering the comment question of the day. Uh, of course, smashing that like button and uh, sharing the video with a friend that totally helps out. Shout out to our friends at Nintendo for providing us with these awesome games. So, I'm down, man. And the Pokeball Plus, what did you guys think of it? Did it look pretty fun to use? I would say my hand gets a little, um, a little, like, moist at times. So, it kind of feels a little weird, but... You'll get used to it. It's kind of the exact same thing as like a, a single detached Joy-Con controller. Like, I don't know. I kind of was getting like used to holding it like this. You know what I mean? Like moving with this one, pressing the A button. I was kind of getting used to that. But I can totally see the Pokeball Plus like being an alternative to that. Especially if you want to use it to take your Pokemon with you. Mew is still inside here, so we got to get him out sometime. I don't know when we're going to do that, but either way. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. Make sure you guys watch our playlist over here. Newest video on the channel that way, recommendations there. And don't forget to check us all out on social media and join our Discord. There's tons of people hanging out in the Pokemon Let's Go chat. So talk to them. Maybe you guys can trade exclusives with one another. Trade your shinies. Do some touch trades. It's going to be really cool. So thanks for watching. I'm going to go set up the next live stream to be here within the next like 20 minutes or so. So join me. Turn your notifications on so you know when we're going to stream right again. Uh, we're going to be playing this game all night because I want to keep on going as far as I can and hopefully beat this game by the weekend. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next one. Have a great rest of your day. And thanks to all of you guys that have come out live and watched this post. Take care.